Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will show you how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 8.1 or the previous version of Windows. So uh, Microsoft announced the latest upgrade of Windows 10 and it's now available as a free upgrade uh, from Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 if you have a genuine license. Now after you have upgrade, upgraded to Windows 10, if you find the Windows, 8, uh, Windows 10 uh, not really suited for you or if you are having some issues with Windows 10, you can always downgrade to Windows 8.1 or the previous version which you had on your uh, PC. This will be only Windows 8.1 and uh, Windows 7. So that's the direct upgrade available for Windows 10. Now uh, uh, the process of uh, downgrading to Windows 8.1 is pretty simple. We'll show you this process. So you have to remember two things here. One, the this option will be available only in the first month of upgrade. So if you have uh, completed one month uh, since the upgrade to Windows 10 has taken place, you will not be having this option. So in case you plan to downgrade, you should be doing this uh, in the first month. And secondly, if you have reclaimed the hard disk space or uh, deleted the the older installation files of Windows 8.1 will not be able to go back to Windows 8.1 from Windows 10. So we'll show you this process to uh, get started. Go to settings menu uh, from the start menu and you can see the up update and security. So select this option and here we have this option called recovery. So in under the recovery you can see go back to Windows 8.1 option. So this option as I said before is available only for a month after we upgrade to Windows 10. So this very simple process all you need to do is get uh, click the get started button and then uh, Windows uh, 10 will uh, go back to Windows 8.1. So the process will take some time because you have to restore all the files and uh, it will be like just like uh, how you uh, install uh, an OS um, uh, in, the, in the first instance so it will take some time so once you click the get started button. Uh, Windows will show you this option that means uh, it will ask, uh, it, will, it will warn you that uh, uh, all the documents, photos and other personal files will be saved that, that those files will not be affected uh, but uh, any apps which are installed after the upgrade to Windows 10 will not be available and any changes made to personal settings after the upgrade will also be not available and if you are losing a local account you need to sign into PC with your old password after going back. So these are the three things we need to remember that uh, any apps which have been installed after we upgraded to Windows 10 will be deleted and any changes made to personal settings after the upgrade will also be lost. So whatever be whatever was the situation, I mean the apps and uh, settings uh, in Windows 8.1 will be restored back and if you are using a local account instead of the uh, Microsoft account, again uh, this will be uh, changed back to local account. So that's the process and now all you need to do is uh, to click the go back button and uh, once you click that uh, Windows uh, setup will start the downgrade process and this will be just like uh, any upgrade process it will be uh, it will be a um, um, direct process you don't have to uh, do anything apart from that it will automatically downgrade and once you complete once the setup in completes this process uh, you will the PC will reboot and then you will have uh, uh, the older version of Windows 8.1. So just you need two things to remember. One is you need to upgrade. Uh, I mean, you may need to downgrade in the first month of uh, upgradation. And secondly, if you have a uh, deleted older uh, version of Windows uh, 8.1 or uh, reclaim the hard disk space after the installation, you will not be able to go back to Windows 8.1. So that is a quick video on how to downgrade Windows 8.1, I mean Windows 10 to Windows 8.1 and this is a fairly simple process. Just follow the steps on screen and uh, you will be uh, shown the option uh, that is Windows 8.1 at the end of downgrade process. So that's all guys. So hope you like this video. If you have any queries on uh, the downgrade process, just drop a comment and uh, we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos on Windows 10. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.